Shalom. Give all praise. Yah Bashimil. Shah Bashim Rakakadash. The honors to the elders and apostles, men and the truth on down regarding truth and knowledge. The Wadi Yah Bashimil shall forbid the spirit of the elders and apostles, men and the truth on down regarding this truth and knowledge. Uh, so we know this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yah Bashimil Shah Bashim Rakakadash. Give all praise. Yah Bashimil Shah Bashim Rakakadash. I'm going to do a few scriptures relating to. Uh, Unbelief or lack of or lack or absence of faith. True scriptures here. Shalaki for the background. Or read it. Mark nine and twenty three and twenty five. Yahweh I said unto them, If thou cannot cannot canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. That's faith. In a straight way, the father, the father of the child, cried out, cried out, and said with tears, "Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief." So he's crying out to, to relate to his, um, um, his faith, his belief. When Yahweh saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirits, and that's pretty much. Um, um, Condemning them, um, you know, correcting, you know, condemning them, saying unto him, "Thou dumb, dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee." Pretty much, that charge goes to command, come out of him, and enter no more into him. So, pretty much, taking out those demons out of uh, those people, man. That's uh, Mark nine twenty three and twenty five. <clears throat> this is John three eighteen and uh, nineteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. So pretty much the lack of faith pretty much condemns you, man. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shai, this is a condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. So they hate the light. And they hate being corrected relating to their wicked deeds, man. So that's why they um, they hate this light. This light is like roaches that exposes them, man. So when the, um, the light is on the roaches, they scatter, man. So that's how they are. Scripture talks about um, Proverbs um, 28.1. Um, um, the wicked flee when no one pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So the wicked are going to flee. You know, ultimately, the truth, the light, is going to make them flee, man. Um, that was John three eighteen and 19. Let's see if I can get it. So I'm just reading it because the glare kind of makes it difficult to see. All right. 2 Thessalonians um, 2, 11 and 12. For, and for this cause, God shall sin. A strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. So a delusion, a spirit of delusion is going to be sent on the people. What they think it, they believe in is, is to be a truth, but it'll be a lie. They that, see, that they all might be damned who believe not in the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. So the wicked, you know, so they, 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 con they condemn, hated the truth and have pleasure in unrighteousness, which is the wicked, man. A second, a second Thessalonians 2 and 11 and 12. Um, go to John 12 and uh, 48. He that, re he that rejected me receiving not my words. Have one that judgeth him the, world, the word that I have spoken. This truth of knowledge is that word, man. And who speaks of the words through the prophets, man, through... The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shemir shall speak through the prophets relating to regarding the truth, which is these words of the truth, man. Um, the same shall judge him in the last day. That's um, John and in, um, in the last days of the latter days. That's John 12, 12 and 48. Um, Mark 16 and 6. 16, Mark 16, 16. He that believeth and he is baptized shall be saved 
and you're baptized relating to the word. So this word is like the, uh, the spiritual waters, man. So you're baptized through the word. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And that's one who has the, um, who believes not relating to the truth, man. So they, so they in condemnation or they're damned, man, for, for their lack of uh, belief, man. Um, that's Mark 16 and 16. Let's go to Second uh, Timothy 3 and 5. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, or such turn away. So they have the outward appearance of righteousness, but honest, but honestly, they deny the power, the true power within, regarding believing, man. So and mo and they turn away, man. You know. A good example of that is um. False prophets, false teachers that have an appearance of righteousness, but when it comes comes down to the you know the nitty gritty of the truth, they really deny the power of it, man. So they just have the optics of or the appearance or facade or the edifice, which is that building of of outward appearance of righteousness, but they believe it not, man. Go to um Seven and twenty-one, Matthews. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So many going to come saying, in, in, saying relating to certain things, but they're going to be rejected. That's what that means, man. Go to um, this is John twenty. 27 through 29 Then saith he to Thomas Reach hither thy finger And behold my hands And reach hither thy hand And thrust it into my side And be not faithless But believing So pretty much uh, John needed confirmation By he needed to see it To believe it You know what I mean And you're going to have people like that In the uh, latter times man They're going to have that faith for Thomas They're going to need they're going to need more proof relating to physical proof to solidify or confirm or give confirmation to their faith, man. So, uh, let me see. Read that again. Then say, if he, Thomas, reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believe it. So, the Lord is telling them, believe it, man. And... Thomas answered and said unto him, Lord, my my Lord and my God. And Yahweh said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. So he needed confirmation on sight. Scripture talks about um, um, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence, but the evidence of things not seen, man. You know, so some are going to believe without seeing. But they're gonna, but they're gonna believe, and some need to see it for the, for them to believe. So that's that faith of Thomas, man. And Yahweh I said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast ha seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen. And that goes to Hebrews eleven and one, and yet have believed, man. So the only few, you know, are given to believe without seeing, and some need. Uh, on sight to believe, man. So, for example, or example of that miracles, seeing certain things manifest, manifest, manifestation of certain things that will confirm or give confirmation to their faith to believe, man. So it's different, you know. Some going to believe, some some going to believe, and some going to, you know, it's, it's a measure. The measure of faith is, is different. Some going to need more, you know, more uh, proof. Tangible and physical proof, and others are not, man. So, that was um, John tw 20, 27, and 29. Go to uh, and the measurement of faith is given by the Lord anyway to what uh, to the to the selection, the election. And the discretion of Yahweh Shemeshah to that lot, man. So that goes to the measure. Pretty much the measurement was given to that particular vessel 
to believe or otherwise, man. All right. Um, of course, scripture talks about First of Thessalonians uh, pr uh, prayer relating to your request, man. That goes to um, your request, for example. For example, for that would be um, praying for faith, man. Praying to believe. You know, pray without cease. That's First of Thessalonians. <clears throat> um, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of his father is not in him. Ye adulterer and adulterers know that a friendship of the world is an enmity to the Lord. Whosoever is a friend of the world is an enemy to the Lord. So whoever is a friend of the world is really an enemy of the Lord, man. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, the things of the world, man. And not of the Father, but of the world. It's of the world. Uh, scripture talks about um, uh, the, the uh, foolishness of... Um, uh, the wisdom of this world's foolish in the eyes of the Lord, man. Part of that foolishness of the world is this pretty much the ways, the tradition, the customs of the, of the world, man. That's abomination to the Lord. Um, and the and the world and the world passes away and lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of our body forever, man. That's First uh, of John's two fifteen and two seventeen. All right, um, let's continue on. Go to Matthew 22 uh, and 14 on this reading because uh, I will show it. But the, the blare on um, the background, it, it gives like a um, it blinds, you know, the screen where it's difficult to see it. All right. Matthew 22 and 14 for many are called, but few are chosen. So many are called really all are called, but only a few chosen. And that goes to pretty much the path, the straight gate relating to that uh, Matthew's. Um, 7, 13, and 14, and 2nd Ezra 7, talk about that straight gate, which is a, 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 diff, a path of difficulty, man, or a position of difficulty, Shalom. Um, for many are called, few are chosen. The scripture talks about the harvest is plentyish, but the labor is a few, so it's a lot of work, but it's only very few workers, man. That was Matthews 22 and 14, um, Jude 1 and 22, and some have compassion making a difference, compassionate passion. Um, to, to, that compassion goes to the, uh, the faith and believing. Man. Um, Ephesians, uh, that's Jude 1 and 22, Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith. So by the grace, mercy of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, man. And not in that, not of yourselves, is gift of God. So, it's, it's by the gift of it is the Lord having a, a, uh, His grace and mercy allowing a certain portion, which is that remnant, to be able to come back to learn certain things, man. So that's that gift, and that's that grace and mercy, man. First um, of John's five and nineteen and twenty one. Let's go to that one. And we, and we know that we are God and the whole world life in wickedness uh, and ones that we are of God are his that special people that special peculiar people um, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 Deuteronomy uh, 14 and 2 man uh, we know that the son of God has come and he have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true, even in his son, Hamashiach Yawashai, this is the true God, internal God. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Idols goes to idolatry, man. Graven images and stuff. False deities. Um, things have no power. That's what that goes to. Amen. That's all first of John's 5, 19 and 21. Go to uh um, James 1 and 6, but let him ask in faith, not wavering. And that goes to the prayer with requests, man. You know what I mean? That wa wavering is like a, 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 a thing moving to and fro, tossed to and fro. For he that wavers like a, wa a wave or a sea driven with the wind and tossed pretty much back and forth, man. So, um, and that goes to the faith believing, man.
and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So ones who believe that, that uh, not being offended goes to believe in man. Because uh, ones opposite of that are not going to have uh, a form of defense in that day. You know what I mean? Because they believe not. Man. That's Luke 7 and 23. Let's go to, uh, let's continue on. These are scriptures relating to um, um, unbelief. For all those things have my hand made. And all those things have been, saith the Lord, but to this man will I look. Even him that is poor and of a contrite and, trum and tr tremble at my word, and contrite spirit. That's a, a very humble, humble spirit, man. A sincere, humble spirit. Matthew 7 and 20. And Yahweh Shai said in, unto him, because of your unbelief, for really I say unto you, if ye have faith of a grain of a mustard seed, which is small, ye shall say unto that this mountain move. Remove hence to yonder place. So pretty much tell that to move from here to there, man. And it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. So basically the scripture is talking is telling you that if you have a faith of a mustard seed, very little, that's enough faith, man. But you must believe in the power of that that faith of mustard seed, that individual, man. That's Matthew 17 and 20. Um, this is 2 Corinthians 6, 6, 14 and 18. Be not unequal, equally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? So, Scripture talks about, um, um, what's that? How can two walk unless they agree, man? So they have to be on one accord, man. One mindset, one accord, man. Um, and what concord have ya have um, Hamashiach with ba um, Belial, man? That's pretty much the unbeliever. Or, or you know, uh, or what part have he that believeth with the infidel, man? And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, man. So, uh, the Lord, scripture talks about the Lord. Uh, uh, the Lord is not dealing with a, a, a building made with hands, man. So the temple, the the edifice or the building relating to the person, man. Um, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and ye shall be my people. And that really. The, the whole building is of nation of Israel, man. The building, the building block of a, of a nation, man. You know, each piece by piece is an individual piece for that temple, man. To build ultimately that that complete structure of the nation of Israel, man. That's what that is. Wherefore, come out of among them and be ye separate, say. So, uh, so um, and that goes to um, um, be separate, man. Sayeth the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So that's separate, peculiar, special people, Deuteronomy 14 and do Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. That's that holy people, man, a holy, special, peculiar people, man. You know, so they're that separate people from pretty much everybody else, man. You know what I mean? That's what that... Um, an example of that. I want to look up a word infidel. Let's see. I mean, an infidel is an unbeliever. An unbeliever, but if any pride not for his own, especially for those of his own house. So the infidel is pretty much. See what can we get on here? There we go. So it means unbeliever. 
So the, the believers with the unbelievers. So be not unequally, be not unequally yoked with um, of, with ones that that believe and ones who don't. So pretty much mixing with them, man. Um, let's continue on back. Let's see. I left with. Uh, John in 3.16 For God so loved the world that he got his only begotten son. Only That world relates to cosmos which is a, a harmonious arrangement. That pretty much a people that was chosen for the election, selection, and discretion of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, man. You know, a chosen people um, that was already arranged and pre, uh, pre-arranged by Yahweh Bashim Yashah to be that special peculiar people, man. You know, um, so that's the world of Israel in a matter of speaking that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so that goes to the faith again John 3 16 and that that, that relates that the particular world of all uh, of the chosen of the nation of Israel that's what that that's what that goes to that world of Israel man the cosmos you know, cosmos is the uh, uh, harmonious arrangement. You know, that's what that is. Um, go to First uh, Timothy six and three and five. If any man teach otherwise and consent not wholesome words, even the words of the of our Lord Hamashiach, into the doctrine which goes to the set of beliefs, dogma, which is according to godliness, uh, according to the testimony. Uh, uh, relating to the testimony of law, if they're not speaking according to this word, then the light's not in them. Man. So it has to be according to the word. That's Isaiah 8 and 20. He is proud knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife. So that goes to the unlearned questions, foolish, vain babblings, and unlearned questions, which causes strife, man. Um, he is proud knowing, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife or words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil demise, and that's, that's all these things are going to contribute to strife, contention, and and pretty much things are the distraction contrary to what should be, man, you know perverse disputants of men of corrupt minds that goes to reprobate minds, man perverse disputants, man you know, distractional perverse disputants, man relating to that, destitute of the truth Supposing that gain is godliness, for such withdraw thyself. So, and this goes to pretty much uh, uh, relating to the doctrine, the set of beliefs, ones who are going to um, challenge or to having that debateful type spirit, you know what I mean, to challenge, you know, regarding this truth of knowledge, man, the validity or the um, the, uh, the substance of that, you know. Um, Romans 10 and 4 For Hamashiach is the end of the law For righteousness to everyone that believe in So the ones who believe man. There's a few scriptures relating to that You know unbelief um, I want to get um, Let me see Second Ezra uh, hmm. Go to 15. Behold, speak thou the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Through the prophets, they're going to speak the words of prophecy. You know, Jeremiah 28, relating to the prophets, they speak of uh, pestilence, uh, pestilence and uh, evils, man. You know. I'll get it real quick. Let me get it. Jeremiah 28. Twenty-eight and eight. Let's go to it. So speaking the words of prophecy. Who's gonna speak the words of prophecy? 
the prophets, man. The Lord uses men through the spirit to speak. They as ambassadors, spiritual ambassadors, representatives of Yahweh man. Uh 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee. Let's see if I can get it in. Before thee of old. Prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence. So that's the prophets, man. They speak of pretty much very bad things, man. War, evils, and pestilence, man. The prophets of the old, man. The prophets of the past. And you understand the spirits. Um, those spirits are back now because they fast forward, man. They were of the old. They coming back again each generational cycle. Back into pretty much whatever they, uh, their lot, whatever they did. So they prophesize um, the words of prophecy. What's the words of prophecy? Of war, evil, and pestilence. That's the prophets. Let's go back to uh, Second Ezra uh, 15. Let's go to it again. Behold, speak, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So that's the spirit of the Lord putting, putting uh, into the words of, uh, in the mouth of the prophets, man. And cause them that to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true relating to this truth and knowledge, man. It's faithful and true. The Lord is not off there a confusion, man. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of the incredulity go to disbelief. The unbelievers, man. Scripture talks about uh, uh, Second Peter three, three and four. Know this in the last in the last days. Um, knowing this in the last days, uh, um, uh, scuffers are going to come at, after their lust, saying, "Where's the uh, where's the where's the promise of the father? Where's the promise of the father? Where's the promise of the father or the co uh, coming of his father?" Let me get it. Butchering up. Second um, Peter's um, Shalaki. All right, here we go. Knowing, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scuffers. Them scuffers are unbelievers. The last days are now. Walking after their own lust, their own desires, and the, you know different things, saying, "Where's the promise of His coming?" Relating to Yahweh Shemesha, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So they think nothing's going to happen, man. So that goes to the scuffers and mockers, man. You know, and that's the unbelievers, man. So they going to show they're going to be um, the um, they're going to show that pretty much their incredulity, man. Their disbelief, you know. <clears throat> Go back to uh, Second Ezra fifteen. Fear not the imaginations. Imagination goes to relating to the thoughts. Relating to the thoughts and minds, man. Imagination. Imagination goes to the thought, the uh, minds, man. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not uh, the incredulity, which is disbelief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So the ones going to come in, in contrary or opposition regarding the truth, especially ones who speak it, man. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that's what's going to happen. More going to perish than be saved. A wave is greater than a drop. They should know it by death, by pain, you know. So that's what that's going to happen. That goes to the, pretty much the unbelievers, man. Uh, go to Second Ezra nine. Go down to uh, <clears throat> the 
I'm going to start at um, 7. And everyone that shall, shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith, the works is the, the, the deeds and the works, the fruit, the works. Uh, they complement one another. Faith and works complement one another. Whereby ye have believed. So really the faith. Um, so you believe relating to um, faith, having that faith and believing, man. And, and both complement one another, you know. So that's what that is. Um, shall be preserved from the said perils, the perils of the troubles. And shall see my salvation in my land. Scripture said, "Ones who, um, those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved." Man, in a matter of speaking, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So some were sanctified to be ultimately, Lord willing, be saved. Man, number eight, number nine. Then shall there be a pitiful case. A pitiful case is a pretty much um, a bad, a bad, a bad situation. Man, you know what I mean? Not a good situation. Which now have abused my ways. And that's the ones who really didn't believe, man. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So that's the that's the consequence. You know what I mean? For unbelieving, man. You know? For not believing. Um, for such as in their life have received benefits have not known me. So they have not given the honor and homage and respect and veneration to Yahweh Shemeshah for blessings, for example. Lord gives what? Um... Um, go to um, Ecclesiastes or Sirach 11 and 14 um, the Lord gives um, prosperity, adversity uh, life and death and riches are given by the Lord man. for example, that's 11 and 14 so the prosperity, riches that's given by the Lord man. but many have not known them you know Um, number f number eleven, and they that have loathed my law, so they despised and hated it, man. And that's the unbelievers, man. While they yet had liberty, that liberty is that grace period, that grace period, that window and door of opportunity still being open. And when as yet a place of repentance, that's part of that that liberty and that grace period, when that is still time to repent, man was open into them understood not but despised it so they 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 loathed it and they pretty much um disregarded it man the same must know it know it after death by pain so that goes with um that's the that's what they're gonna they're gonna know it by pain man it go by judgment man um let the unfaithful die in their unfaithfulness man going back to 15 and um second Ezra 15 and um was that four <clears throat> so let them die in their un unfaithfulness and they shall know it by death by pain so bear, being not believing it's going to be painful for them um, for not believing that's, that's pretty much what that scripture is saying man. Um, so that'll be a uh, second address of uh, 15 and 4, yeah. They shall know it by death, by pain. For all the faithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that's that pain, man. They're going to die, a, a, you know, a painful death, in a matter of speaking. Because of their incredulity, man. <clears throat> uh, okay. This is a few scriptures. Relating to uh, unbelief, these are new scriptures. Uh, I hope this helps. This is Ayah Wolf. Well, another scripture. Hold up, Ecclesiastes or Sirach. One more, five and seven. Five and seven. Or Sirach five and seven. Make no tarrying, so don't don't hold off, don't wait. 
to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day because you don't know what's going to happen, man. That could be a day where certain things can happen and you, and you might not have the opportunity. So that's why you, you try pot, try not to put it off, man, relating to that. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, that's the judgment, and in thy security, at peace and security. And thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's why it's saying, put, not tarry, don't wait, repent, man. And, you know, individually, collectively, man, because you know not when you may not be able, you know not when certain things might happen. So, and that goes to the liberty, the day, uh, place of repentance, that, that grace period, that liberty, man, while it still can, you know, that's what that is, man. That's Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. So, that being said, I hope this helps in some, uh, some way. Whoever listens, I want to give all praise. Yahweh Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakada, Zayah Wolf. Uh, hope it helps, y'all.